all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give a back to back update on how things they be on how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too remember also to like and share this news all right my people um yes uh, my people now so you go the be now so you go the hot um the latest one we get for here we go the the stop everywhere we go the cost commotion for here we say yes the pm brgie simon emma and joko yes has uh, of course uh, done the normal thing he has always done he has a uh, he has done the biggest thing that he'll always do one of the things that he's always known for and that is for breaking records and um, doing the things that uh, people do not expect he would be able to do and that is one thing about the pmbrgie simon ever he will do whatever we think that uh, it's not possible and be able to do it for us just for the movement just for the fact that uh, the movement would go on this Biafra movement is something that is like a do or die affair for him. It's something that uh, he does not uh, make, he does not uh, let anything to obstruct. The fact that uh, he replaced uh, Mazen Namdekan or Hamadike Ndibo. The amount of time, the, the immediately um, Hamadike was, um, was arrested and put in prison. You saw how he came out from the shadows and the... Uh, made everybody understand the kind of person he is. He did not uh, come in and uh, start cursing Wahala. He only came in and turned everything he has said into action. Martin uh, Khan, Martin Simon, is not the type of person that talks without action. He's a man of action. After a whole lot of things he has said, he goes into action to say it, to, to, to display it. And that is the truth of the matter. That is why people are respecting him. This is why people love everything concerning him. Because he's not as slow as anybody that would wait, start waiting around to find out what is actually going on in every state or whatever it is is happening at any point in time. No, he's not as slow as that. He does not do that he is always there when the main thing wants to take place and does the needful takes the necessary action does the important thing that must that needs to be done and uh, keeps on going his own does not end he never ends just like that with him he's the one that has every single thing in mind every single strategy every single distraction every single move every single a purchase or whatever it is it has been made by him that weakens the whole zoo system is something that he has been predestined something that he he himself has always um, um had plans for it's something that he knew that would take place it's something that uh, is not something that just has to happen in one day it's something that uh, it's a step by step something and cannot really be be done or be shaking all of a sudden and that's why even at his presence even in his presence everything looks like a, it's a strategic something or looks like it's something that was planned just because of the type of person he is and that is why people have ended up believing in him and uh, believing in every single thing he says and it makes him a more reliable young man it makes him a more reliable young human being that actually can be depended on something and then because of that this makes evil people in general this makes uh, people to actually like him and uh, to actually want the best for him and so on and so forth and at that particular point that is what would be happening in say, case, say, in cases rather like they carry daggers and if you are not if you are not if you are not careful you would be you would meet your end when you are meeting with these people when you are clashing with them anything that concerns the clash with these people they would end up hitting you down and so this are uh, one of the things we need to that is why this particular clash is between the nigerian army and every single thing concerning the full and needs in our land at this particular point is necessary so that these people will know that we are going to we are fighting back the fact that they've been allowed to encroach into our land because of the government or whatever the government has said because 
um, earlier on during uh, Buhari's turn, when he was still the president of this this zoo nation, they were allowed to to they said they should give Fulanese a part of their land in every single state. For what reason? For what? For what reason? What happened to the lands in their place? Is their place not enough for them to graze their cows? Why are they coming into our land? If it's not for a takeover, I don't know whatever, I don't know what else it is. Because right from time, I believe what these people have always wanted is to take over our land. Because you enter the streets of Oberi, you enter the streets of Anambara, you enter the streets of Ahafia, Igbo land, you'd see Hausa people, mosques built everywhere. And these people are able to like wake up one day, enter there, do whatever they want. The places where they are mosque or where they pray to their own on Fridays are being filled or is being filled with all these Hausa and Yoruba Muslims. Covering the rules, blocking the rules, stopping movement because of uh, uh, the fact that they are they are praying to their God. You don't try that in their rural areas. You don't try that in their place in the north. They will take you down. They are not in support of anything Christian. And if you are a Christian in that place, which means you are hiding as a Christian. But then they come into our place and we give them that accommodation of hey, the peace we have here. And how we would always want to accommodate them in anything they do. And this has given them the morale to feel like they can take over or do whatever it is. Go to people's universities. You see these people there. You see that they are now the ones riding bikes. And these are all steps these people have taken towards taking charge of the Igbo land. And it is very heartbreaking and very bad that these are the things that are happening. You see that in every state, one way or another, especially in Owere, there is an Amawosa. That place that they call Amawosa, that is where they, it's as if they've been given that place. I don't believe anywhere in Biafra land these people should be allowed or given a place where they can stay. Because their mission is to take over, encroach and take over, be, give birth. Give birth. Have a lot, lots of children wherever they are. They do not even care. They, they breed their, their young ones anywhere they find themselves. And they come out and beg. And that is how they live their lives. And so these are, you feel that uh, these, they are just people that are begging, it's a lie. These are things that they use to encroach into the land they want to, they want to convert and they want to take over. And that is why we need to be alert as Ndibo. Ndibo and we need to be really, need to really be at alert to make sure that these things don't affect us. These things don't, don't, don't find us one day and end us. Because that is what it's aiming for. That is what this whole mission is aiming for. To cleanse Ndibo. But of course, we are not supposed to allow that to happen to us. We are not even we are not going to let that kind of thing happen to us because we are Ndibo. And we are expect this is our land. This is Biafra land. The fact that these people have rejected giving us our land or they've rejected giving us our referendum so for us to stay on our own does not mean we we'll allow people to encroach into it. And that, thank God for PM. Ma, uh, PM Maze Simon Eba that has decided that have taken it up to his head that has carried it on his head to make sure that the movement is not is not is not forgotten. The movement is carried up. The the referendum is not a mission to be given up on. And that is why a whole lot of things are happening right now because of the movement that has not been given up by people that have dedicated their lives to fighting for freedom. And so, my people, if you are not, if you think that maybe you are not going to, you are not in support of Biafra, that is fine. Finally, when we get it, you can stay with them. You can stay with people that are ready to oppress you to your death, that are ready to shoot you if you mess up, that are not even in support of Christianity. The only thing they want you to worship is that their God, which is the Muslim, which is, which is their Allah. And then you would understand that there is no place that is better than, than where you are coming from. Yes, and that is the truth. People always wake up and say uh, a whole lot of things concerning how we cannot, how we cannot uh, 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 stay on our own or how we cannot live on our own. But then we've been able to 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 live with people that are not interested in our in our progress. They are not interested in anything we hold there. They've only ever wanted our failure. They've only ever wanted anything that will bring us down. That is what these people have always wanted right from time. 
and the earlier we get that into our score the better for us they do not they are not interested in us they're not interested in us making it in any way they've always wanted to take over they've always wanted to have access benefits from all our businesses and things like that and that is one of the reasons they've decided not to let us go but then we are not backing down on anything that concerns the Biafra movement. And so my people, this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.